Welcome back to Rocker's Beer Review and today we are reviewing a beer which is from Morrison. So this is a Morrison's beer, supermarket beer, three pound, 440 ml and well, this is the can. It's a siren, so a lot of people out there have probably heard of siren. I expect a lot of you have probably had a siren beer. Um, they do lots of different, different beers and they're available in the supermarkets. This one's a bit different though. This one is called Much Ado About Muffin, and it is a blueberry muffin pale ale. So I expect a little bit of sweetness in here. Um, it's oh, it, this is in a collaboration with Lurvig, so it's obviously a joint a joint venture. It's coming in at 5.5% ABV. Let's read the can, shall we? It says, nothing beats a fresh blueberry muffin, except, of course, a blueberry muffin beer. Our collaboration with Lurvig Le is suitably bursting with juicy blueberries and delicate vanilla sweetness is offset by hoppy citrus flavours and a subtle lemon undertone, making this power out both indulgent and refreshing all at once. Now, you know, oh, let's be wary about this. This is a blueberry muffin pale ale. Now, you know, a lot of these sort of um, sweet, sort of cakey type of things, milkshake IPAs, they can either carry themselves off, but a lot of the time they can fall flat. But we're gonna give this one a try. I'm not quite sure what it's going to be like. When I think of blueberry muffins and the sort of sweetness, I think, well, you know, you know, I've had a, I had a, um, a stout that was, a, that was a sort of blueberry and pancakes and maple syrup, you know. But this is a pale ale, so let's see what this is like in a glass to begin with, shall we? Well, I'm certainly, you're certainly getting that sort of, uh, you've got like a a ready well as you can see that it's pretty crimson crimson's the color that's the word that's the color i'm looking for sort of a, a ready orange blood orange almost sort of color um so obviously we're going to get some we've obviously got, it's quite up front in terms of the the color there in terms of there's that obviously that blueberry and that fruitness so let's get some aroma shall we yeah i mean it's quite surprising because you don't really smell it's a it's a fruity smell but i'm getting a lot more citrus um i'm not getting a lot over overly sweet sort of um aromas it's quite hoppy but to me it smells like you know a a typical sort of pale ale but without much of the sort of really not there's no sort of tropical notes Lemon, lemon, lemon is the is the smell I'm getting here. So, without further ado about muffin, uh, let's get this one down, shall we? Cheers, everyone. So straight away you get that sweetness. Again, it's one of these old beers that you think I've not tasted anything like this before. Um, definitely sweetness vanilla which obviously it says vanilla the sweetness that sort of creaminess the 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 actual sort of mouthfeel though is quite sort of thin um, there's quite a lot of carbonation there which which again you wouldn't necessarily expect I'm really finding it difficult to find a blueberry though it's definitely a fruitiness and, I, and it is, because it's, it's there, there is a very slight undertone of lemon there, but it's it's not the upfront fruit. So I am getting something that could be a blueberry. I'm trying to actually think what a blueberry actually tastes like. I'm certainly getting a red, dark sort of berry type, berry notes, berry flavor. It's not bad, the flavor's not bad. It's reasonably well balanced. I think the thing that lets it down a little bit is that it's just so fizzy. I mean, look at the fizz on that. I mean, it, it moves up really quickly and then sort of stops, but it's, I think if it wasn't as fizzy and it had a sort of softer mouthfeel, it would be really pleasant. You taste that sweetness and then there's a sort of 
dry bitterness sort of fight in the middle somewhere and then the back end you've got that very subtleness of, of blueberry it, it almost works almost works but not quite not quite applauded for being a bit different there is some flavors there they are bursting to get out but it's, it's ruined a little bit by its carbonation and by the fact that it's a very thin maybe if there was some more oats maybe if there was if it was had a little more of a softer feel uh, mouth feel to it it would be it'd be a, absolutely a, a smashing beer but anyway let's get some scores in shall we Okay, the scores are in for the Siren uh, and um, Lervig collaboration. Three pound can from Morrison's. This is the much ado about muffin. It's a blueberry muffin pale ale coming at 5.5%. So, aroma. There's certainly some fruitiness there, but it's muddled. You know, it's really difficult to sort of actually get what you get. You get that sweetness, but the aromas are they're lacking a little bit. So I'm giving it an 11 out of 20 for aroma. Uh, appearance, well, I mean, it's a lovely red sort of crimson color, um, but you know, not really much of a head. It's gone a bit flat there. It's not the best, I don't think, appearance, but it's an average. Seven out of 10, I'm giving it for appearance. Flavor, it could almost be good, but it doesn't just, just there's just, a couple of elements of it that doesn't quite hit the mark the mouth is too thin and it's too carbonated for me um, so I'm giving it a 30 out of 40 it is nearly there maybe when they do a maybe they'll try another batch and they would make slight differences and it could be a real smasher actually um, so flavor 30 out of 40 value well it's a free quid can 440 mil I think it's not bad value for what you get five and a half percent so I'm giving it an eight out of ten and overall experience, well, I certainly won't want to drink more than one of these. Certainly there's a fruitiness. You get that red berryness, but again, you know, it I just it doesn't quite the elements are not quite there. You know, the, the I think on paper it it sort of works, but just the implementation not quite right. I do like that little sweetness, the vanilla ness of it. That's quite nice. But I'm only going to give it eleven out of twenty for my over experience, because I wouldn't want to drink any more, and I probably won't try it again. So that gives a total of sixty seven out of a hundred. It's not terrible, but it's a Bon Jovi beer, um, so it's a bit of a poodle rock classic really but if you like sweet beer if you like that sweetness uh, and you want to try something different because this is certainly different then blueberry muffin give it a try but it's just just a, just below my recommended level 67 out of 100 bon jovi beers keep the faith until the next video keep on rocking